yes avinash tell me what is the update now <clears throat> yeah so uh, like someone asked the question like can we restrict uh, uh, certain supplies for each and every line Mm-hmm. Like uh, I want to send one line for one supplier and second uh-huh. line for another supplier. Uh-huh. Uh, that is possible. And uh, is it so? Okay, very good. I am not. I am not aware of it. Yeah? So you saying that supplier wise also we can send, but how to do that? You know, I am not aware of it actually. Uh, there is a control line access. We need to highlight that particular line and then after we send the uh, this one. Right? Okay. Well, tomorrow while you are doing the two stage RFQ, please tell me. We will not sure. try to send it only for the first supplier actually. Fine. We'll sure. not see whether uh, we can do it or not. Fine. Well, we are now. We'll now work on the two-stage or after tomorrow. No? Fine. At the time, what happens? You please be there. But good, good yeah. observation. So Avinash says that line-wise, we can send to one supplier or some other suppliers. Actually, line-wise, we can even restrict to some suppliers. Good, good, good. Great. <clears throat> go there. Fine. Go there. So now, what I do is, uh, I will now go there. We'll now go to the share screen. Now. If the ASL is set by planning team, does that reflect here or no? Which one? ASL approved supplier list is set. Then yeah, then... ASL is only for the planning model. Fine, it will not, it will not reflect. Well. ASL is not for purchasing at all anymore. ASL is only for planning actually. Nothing else. Now we will now go to the negotiators login now. Fine, this is the negotiators login. So he will not give a done now. Fine. So it is the negotiators login. So he can now see a response back as coming. Go that again. So now a response will come. Fine, click on search again. Fine, it is now searching. And then I click on the hyperlink. Now negotiator is opening it. Okay, got it. And then he is opening it up. Negotiator is opening it up. So go there. So negotiator will now open up, and then he will now monitor the negotiation. Right? Go to the actions, and then go to monitor, and then monitor negotiation. So go to the monitor negotiation. Right? Negotiator is now monitoring the negotiation. Fine, go on. Now it is now showing you the graph actually. So it says what total response value is one thirty thirty five. Go there. So savings percentage is now showing you. Uh, savings amount here potential saving is now shown as seventy. It is not showing in percentage. So the response by supplier is not showing you fine with that. It is now having what uh, approximately one thousand thirty is the total value fine the response by supplier. We can even drop down and then choose it now fine. So you know go to the negotiation summary and then see it now fine. You are not saying go that you want. I will not go there. Savings by supplier. If you see it, otherwise it is not showing savings by supplier. And then go down. Now. So response by time. <clears throat> so time wise, when he has responded. So this is a closed line. Right? This is the date on which it is going to close. Now let us now log in with the second supplier and then see. Okay. So the second supplier is going to log in. I will not do one thing. I will now go to the Chrome and then let me log out of it and then log in as the second supplier because this is no more required for me. The PRC ten is no more required. So I was now in the PRC ten. And let me log out and then log in as the second supplier also. Sign out and then let me log in as the second supplier. So click on confirm now. So go there. I will now say what happens. It's a A two dot N two. So it's a welcome to the bank. Keep on signing. So we are now signing, and it's a two dot into fine. The passwords are all same now actually. So we are now logging in. So go there. I will now save it. So first activity is what you go there, click on it. You will now have a look at fine. You are invited for the negotiation. Fine, click on it. You will now send a message now fine. <coughs> so click on it. So go there. So this company is now coming up from the configure uh, that one now fine. That uh, uh, has some information fine. You will now accept the invitation and also it. <coughs> We will participate. You know, say sub two. <clears throat> so click on submit now. Fine. By which whatever is submitting coming, and then of course whatever you can even acknowledge also. So go to this place. You will now go to what supplier portal. The second supplier will now go to the supplier portal. Supplier portal, and then here now see what are the active negotiations under him now. Fine with that. So you will now go to the place negotiation view active negotiations. It will now show you the view active negotiation. Fine with that. So the active negotiation now shown here now. So I think I won't put a number. Fine. The three one eight zero two is the one. Fine with that. So click on the hyperlink of it now. Please, you will now go and record it, and then you will now first of all acknowledge the participation. You will now click on the hyperlink, and then go to the actions, and then go to the response. Acknowledge participants. <clears throat> you know the same itself will now on the same acceptance. What I mean, you know, say ak fine participation. <clears throat> you know, first of all acknowledge it. Remember, if he is amending it, acknowledgement is a mandatory one. Remember, if he is amending it, if the negotiator is amending the uh, uh, negotiation, then acknowledgement is a mandatory before you quote actually. Good actions, and then good response, and then he will not create a response. So response is not getting created. So he will not put a reference number. Fine, let's say sub two. Fine, go there. Four five six is the one. Fine. He will not say not to buy. Fine, he will not say mm-hmm. sub two not to buy. So all these things the negotiator can see. Fine, attachment also can see. So go there. Is the tree? Fine, go there. Click on next. Requirements. Fine. So we are now passing on the requirements. Now fine. We will now fail on the requirements also. 
So we have a technical requirement as well as the financial requirement. Let us now pass on all these things, and then afterwards we will not fail also. So go that you are not putting five now, five that. So here is now on the financial and all that. I will not choose the technical. So this also I will not pass. So give yes now, and then now put so many things. Jing 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 jing. They are all manually evaluated. So click on next now. So requirements and all that. We will not go to the line price now. So here he is now giving a line price of eighty now. Eighty is going to give now. It is okay. So go there, select it, and then now edit. No, okay, come on. So you're not giving a like price. No, no, no. So here uh, he's saying what about the, the transportation cost? Fine, again twenty. Fine, this also is new one. So eight hundred plus twenty plus thirty is eight thirty. Fine. So eight thirty is the one. So the market price is thousand. So eight hundred plus twenty plus thirty. Santosh, please watch. No, fine. This way. No, no. So eight thirty is the total cost, and so what about the, his response price is eighty three. Fine, go there. So what about the, the savings is what? The savings is seven dollars or what? Anybody? Ninety dollars the target price. How much is the savings now? Seventeen. Seventeen because the market price is under actually. <laughs> so since the market price is under, not on the target price. Fine. Target is what we wish actually. Fine. If you wish something that may not be possible at all. So that is the target price. But from the market price, what happens? Seventeen dollars the savings. So, so click on save and close by which what happens? You have now completed the thing, and then you must enter a response value for the required attributes. Yeah, attributes are required. So he has to respond back. <clears throat> so because a star is coming, so line level attribute is the mandatory one. So if you give one also, it will accept. Fine. Whatever you give, it will accept. So it is for us to manually decide whether the attributes given for this item are okay or not. Otherwise, we can reject. The negotiator may even reject based upon the attributes passed on by the supplier. Actually, so there is no automatic knockoff. Remember, automatic knockoff or manual knockoff is possible only on the requirements and not on the attributes. On the attributes, there is no knocking off. Knocking off is not possible. Knocking off or possible only on the requirements. So you have to write your requirements in a very proper manner where we can even manually or automatically knock off attributes. We only have to decide if it is okay. You accept it. Otherwise, entire code you can reject it also. So negotiator can even reject. So this one seven plus. You know that. So his total price is eighty three thousand five hundred. And the next one, uh, you know, quoting only hundred. <coughs> Just three. so click on submit. So the second response has come. Fine. He is now giving a better savings. The previous supplier has given a seventy dollars savings. He is now giving a one seventy dollars savings. He is now giving a one seventy dollars savings. <coughs> so the response is now that thank you so much. So it is now done. Thank you. So we will now go back to what happens. The next one. Thank you. I will not give one done. Thank you. So click on that, and then come out of it. Fine, click on that again, and then we will now make a research. Fine, click on search. And then now the second supplier has responded. Click on that. We will now go to the negotiation, and then have a look at that. We will now go to the monitor negotiation again. So go to actions, and then here go to uh, what happens? A monitor, and then monitor negotiation. The one. So we are going to monitor it. So once we monitor it, response by supplier is now showing. Sub two has responded this now. Fine, go there. Sub one has responded like this. So sub one's price is what one zero three zero, whereas sub two price is this much now. Fine. If you go that one, they are not showing nine thirty now. Fine, nine thirty. Whereas sub one is what one zero three zero. No less. So we will not see the savings by the supplier actually. Fine, go there. So click on it. I will not go there. I will not. What about the savings the supplier? <laughs> so this is savings there. So we can have two analytics now. Fine. You go there. Click on it. We will not say what about the response by supplier in one screen and then savings by supplier in another screen. So there are only two maximum screens possible. So you can even compare and then see how much is not done now. So in the bottom also, the supplier two is now giving a savings of fifteen percent. Supplier one is giving a savings of six percent. And compared to the market price, is it all clear now? <coughs> yes. yes sir. Now, sir, one question: Do we have any analytics for uh, looking at the uh, quality level check also? No, no, quality level check is not possible. Quality so, means what? The attributes. For example, have to design now. Fine, right? Yes, sir. For quality example, will come into picture the... only when you are receiving it. Actually. While he is quoting, no, no, sir. No, sir. About that, about the scoring point, point, the four point or five. That is what you have to write a scoring. Point. You have to write a scoring accordingly. Fine. Requirements itself, you have to write. If you want to okay, so, evaluate on the quality, then write a requirement in such a fashion that what happens? So, sir, let us say, let us say uh, the the supplier which is giving less value, less less price, uh, uh, more margin to us, but it its uh, score is say four instead of five. So, in that case, what would happen? You only have to manually decide. The system does not have anything automatically on this. Okay, okay. You don't have any automatic way of scoring it actually. You only have to manually decide. So this is the only possible thing which you can do. So if you want to have any quality factor, then you write it as an attribute or as a requirement. If you write it as an attribute, I'll do it. Now, Anna, where is the market price is mentioned? We have mentioned at the beginning itself, remember? 
we have mentioned okay, okay. Okay. Yes, i don't know okay, okay. 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 100 dollars we have mentioned it now while you are taking i will check yeah, yeah maybe i missed it i missed it. you make a check of it now you are now mentioned is 100 dollars because of which the savings are coming up so market price is 100 dollars we have mentioned and then afterwards what happens sir uh, he is now quoted with okay now the third supplier is now what happens uh, has gone to london for a picnic so he is saying that i will now give a quote telephonically so we are going to record the third supplier's response as a surrogate response a surrogate response can be given by the supplier he may even give a verbal quote or he may send it by email or fax or something like that so he may not be able to log into the system so in this case what happens we will now record the third supplier as a surrogate response okay come on now go to this place now right so now go to the actions and then go to the managing so go to the managing so go to the managing fact is a manager and then create an what happens surrogate response so click on it so we are now going to get a third supplier surrogate response thank you on the great surrogate response you go to go there click on it so go there who is the supplier i will now say supplier three click on it so the contact is not there so uh, go there and then put the supplier's contact who is the contact and then click on create now we are creating a surrogate response for the third supplier right click on create now we are now creating a surrogate response for the third supplier <laughs> For the third supplier, what happens? We are now creating a surrogate response. Yeah. So here, I am giving a reference number one, two, three. Right. So note to buyer, fine. Sub three, fine. Note to buyer. You can all see all these things somewhere here and there. You have to go on and search where exactly all this information. So how he has re responded by now by email now. Fine. When it is response, this is a mandatory field now. Fine. When you have received the response, fine. Go there. I will now say today we have received it. So we have to say the receiving response date. The primary one. Fine. Go there. So you give everything. So it is again a tree now. So click on what next, and then I go to the requirements area. Go to requirements. Mm -hmm. So I go to the requirements area. So here again, I'm passing everything. And go there. So click on yes, no fine. On the financial availability is no fine, and then he's now giving yes, no fine. Drop it down, and then go to the technical capabilities. And go there. I will now again pass everything. There's no passing everything. So go there. Point. I'm not doing it. So click on it, and then what happens? We are now going to submit it. So go to the next line. Go to the next. Go to the next. So lines region he is now going to give a price. For <clears> that. <throat> so he is now giving a price of what? Seventy. Seventy. Go there. So click on edit. Now find. Come on. I want to select the line and then click on edit. <clears throat> I am going to edit it. I am now editing it. Go there. So he is now giving a seventy. Right? This is also twenty. <clears throat> and then this is ten. Good time. So everything is coming further. So, uh, so you, you give the note to buyer. Everything can be seen by the negotiator actually. Fine. Whatever he is saying, whatever everything he can now see in some way. This is a mandatory one. Fine. Go there. So I am now giving some value. Some value. Uh, it may not be accepting the numerals. I am not giving one. So it can be yeah. having a list of values. Attributes has to be given properly by him. And then uh, here the negotiator has to see these things. If he is not satisfied with the response value. What you will do is you will simply what you will now uh, what happens you will now simply what happens reject it also. <clears throat> what happens you will be simply rejecting it. Well, these values should be meaningful or uh, no, uh, not necessarily. Fine. But uh, supplier has to give meaningful values. Okay, if but there is no any validation. There is no validation at all. On this one, there is no validation. Attributes there is no validation at all. There is no validation. Hmm. So click on what happens the seven close by which what happens the price are given. So go there. we come to the main area of lines and then here review and then we are now submitting a surrogate response now fine so surrogate response is not getting line to not specific no sir line doesn't matter hundred dollars fine so we are now giving hundred dollars fine so click on submit now fine by which order was it? we are now given everything mm. so now a surrogate response has been received by us <laughs> so one when he goes and then have a look at it fine now all the three suppliers are now shown here. Savings the supplier and go there. Sub three is the maximum saving sub two and sub one. Fine, go there. And then there is a quote values. Fine, you can even put different graphs and then compare it. Fine. So here, what happens is like what happens response by time. Fine. So this is a what happens a close date actually. This is a close date. And then almost everybody has responded on the same day. Fine. You can even say on the different days. So compare different things. And then at the bottom also you can do. It. So here it is now saying the last activity is what surrogate response moment. So it is also saying it is online service, but it is not online service because we are given. So this star mark. Also indicates the new response number. Mm -hmm. So it shows you the percentage also. You can even see the transform amount if you click on that one. Fine, you can even see what is the total amount he has given. Fine, so total transform line amount is what nine twenty. Mm -hmm. How come nine twenty? Okay, nine twenty. So, mm -hmm. so whatever it is. So that is the total. We can't see the unit price of the item. That yeah, unit price of the item we cannot see. No, fine, total value is not. So is it? So everything is not seen. The unit price of the item you cannot see. Maybe in the response you can see. If you click on the response, fine. Click on the response. Now you can see the unit price of each and every item. 
So go there. You go to the lines now. Thank you on the lines. And then you can now see the unit price of this line. So he has now quoted 82 here and then 100 here. 82 consists of what? Frankly, on it. You can now see how much it is now consisting of 82. So response price is only shown now. Frankly, on it. How to see the other details? Frankly, on it. Ah, the cost factor for details is not shown here. Frankly, click on the details now. You click on the details on the line now. Frankly, on it. Now see whether it shows the breakup of 82. Ah, it's not showing. 70 plus 20 plus. Okay, that way it's not showing. 700, 720, and then 730. <clears throat> So you can even see somewhere. Yeah, everything is available somewhere or other. And you have to go on and search for it. So educate to a certain extent the negotiator. And then afterwards, you will now have to go on and see each and everything inside. Now, the negotiator has decided to pass the loan. He is not going to pass it. The negotiation, let us say all the three suppliers are not quoted. And then you are waiting for some more suppliers. At the time, he has now given a pass. Now. When it is passed, nothing can be done. It is basically a stop actually. And you go to pass it. Now. What are the actions? And then here, what happens? You go to the done now. Come to the main area. Go to the main area. So come to the main area. So go to the actions and then go to what? Manage now. Click on the manage. And then here, he's going to pass the negotiation. So once when he passes, a message will be going to all the participating suppliers that the negotiation is passed. At the time, what happens? They cannot give a response at all. Click on pass now. And he's going to do it. <clears throat> Next passed. Next passed. Next passed. I will now say uh, negotiator. Negotiator. So this message sir, is to all the suppliers. Sir, sir, is it passed or passed? It is passed. P A U S C. Okay, 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 okay. It's P A U S C. Pass. The pass button. Fine. The pass button has been pressed. Okay, sir. Because you you put it in your notes, you have put um, pass. So I thought. <laughs> okay, my mistake. Now. P A U S C. Pass. Okay, okay, so it is now on a hold for a moment. It is on a hold, right? yes, it is on a hold. Okay. So click on and negotiations is passed. Fine. So click on something. Now, all the participating suppliers by negotiations passed, all the invited and participants will be notified by email. Actually. They will all be invited by email. But since I am not having a real email, so they can go into the what's called, you will not go to this place and click on it. You will not get a message on the top. So I will not go that point. I will have to log out of my email. E1, N1, it's not exactly responding. I'm fine. Sign out and sign in. <clears throat> sign button. Sometimes what happens, the message will be taking a longer time actually. Thank you, confirm now. <clears throat> so, now in normal, normal practice, maybe the negotiator may call different suppliers instead of uh, having the supplier portal. Yeah. So, it can even be... inform manually also. Fine. That's okay. Yeah. So, you can even so it, it can be a partial like. Yeah, yeah. Can be partially. In practical scenarios, you only have to see. So, for that. so if you click on the bell icon, a notification will come that the negotiation is passed. Online message for negotiation time, payment dependence was received. Okay. Only 43 minutes ago is not showing. Now, what happens? It has to show me what this message you know, There is a 43 minutes message. You know, so, for that. so, he is not dispensing it now. So, a recent message has to come. Fine. Then, noise is passed. Fine. Not okay. So, even the requiring attention also, it will fine. Well, in this place, what happens? The negotiation closing soon. This is what negotiation messages. If you click on it, you can now see all the messages, whatever they are. If you click on it, you can now see the negotiation single is passed. Yes, see, now got it. So the negotiation single was passed actually. And the message is coming on the yellow screen now in this place. It may not be coming on the bell icon. So here it is not coming. Fine. For everyone, what happens on the yellow one, it is not coming on this. 100 messages and negotiation messages. The preventive So it is passed. Is not so when it is passed, we cannot give any quote at all. So click on this number. So re responses. You know, click on the response. You can now see how much he has responded back. So response is not showing you. If you click on the response, it is not showing you the response. It is not locked actually. It is not passed. The past symbol is also coming here. See, the past symbol is also coming here. So by which you can now see this. <clears throat> you can even revise and then give another quote actually. So supplier may, whatever negotiator may call to the supplier, hey, your price is very high. Why don't you bring it down? Fine. Now he is now going to revise it also. So, because multiple responses are basically possible by any supplier. Actually. So not Nana, if it is passed, so if it is not done by system, so supplier not system. Call. Negotiator has passed it. Negotiator, okay. The so negotiator, negotiator is passed, passed and supplier would cannot uh, respond. So, he can call and... No way. System-wise, he ah, cannot okay, respond back okay. at all. It's passed. Okay. It's on fine, hold. Fine. Okay. It's on okay. hold. Nobody can do any activity at all. Okay, even response cannot be taken manually no or can be taken. You cannot close the negotiation, we cannot award a negotiation, nothing can be done. Fine. The Correct. total thing is on hold actually. Correct. 
So click on done. I'm not giving a moment. So on the requiring attention, on the, on the info let itself, it's not showing a lot of information. Now, the, the, what happens, the negotiator has decided to what happens, resume the negotiation. You will not go that point. You know what resume it. So go to the actions and then go to the go to the manage and then you'll not resume it now. Fine. It's passed it, you know what resume it now. Fine. Click on resume. Now all the participating suppliers will be given. Fine. It's a resume now. Fine. Resume. What happens in the case when is resuming it is that uh, last date of it's already passed. Uh, no, no, no. When the last date is it will not get automatically closed okay. After four days and 22 hours, it gets automatically closed okay. There is no question of automatic. Once the date is passed, there is no way we can reopen. There is no, yeah, you cannot reopen. It will not get closed. So Nani, no. sir, is there is there any process running behind uh, so that it, te it checks how much time is remaining now? It shows here itself. No, I'm, saying, four no, I'm saying, is there any process running uh, behind the scene which checks that this uh, negotiation has to Remember, be done? You take an days. action, it will not, if it is applicable, it will not show. When you're passing okay, okay. it and then resuming it, if it is applicable, it will not show how many days. Oh, okay, that time only it will. Okay, got it. Got it. Only at the time, what happens, it will be showing. Otherwise, it will not show anything. So, you know, resuming it, fine. Click on submit. Now, all the participating suppliers will not get them. All immediate participants are there. Resume back. It is not getting resumed. So, go there. There is no submit. Yet. So, you know, go and then have a look at this place. There is no resume. So, he will also, all the participating suppliers will be getting a notification. In the bell icon also, it will come. Fine. But I don't know. The now instance has become slow now. Fine. I will not go to what this one now. So I will not. What happens if we click on this message? Now I click on it. I will not see whether it is resumed as come or not. The resumed as come now. It is not resumed. So it is not showing me. Click on done. Click on done. Now click on done. And then I click on. There are two. Now. Initially one was there. It is not two now. Click on it. No see whether any message is coming. So it is resumed now. So the negotiations resume is coming. So now, if he has not given a quote, then what happens? He can very well give a quote actually. He can even revise the quote also to apply. So there are four information two is a message, and then one is what, which is closing soon now, and then one is a response now. So you know, go there, click on it. So you know, go to the negative bin now, and you know, resume it. Actually. Now he is going to extend the last date. You know, going to extend the last date. Go to the actions, and then here, go to the manage, and then you will now extend it. Click on extend. So click on extend. You're going to extend the last date. So new close date is not 8-12. What happens? You know, make it the what happens? 13-12. So 13-12 is a new close date. So this will also be communicated to all the participants. Right? All the participating participants now. And click on submit now. 13-12 is the one. So he's not submitting it. So the new close date, all immediate participant suppliers will be notified by even right? the new extension of that date. So click on that So the new extension of date will be communicated back to the suppliers. So if you go to the first supplier, you can now see the message that it is no extension. So those who are not uh, uh, done the code, they will now see it and then they will not take an action. So it has to become three now actually. And the code. Ah. So log on and log in of this. Now I click on sign out and sign in. The supplier one actually. Sign out and sign in. You click on confirm now. And then we'll now sign in now. And then have a sign. And then A1.N1. Fine. Click on sign in. Then you sign in. Go that code. So go there. It has now become only one now. Fine. Requiring attention is only one now. Fine. Click on one. Fine. Negotiation responses is not showing you. Fine. No notification at all here. Oh God. If you click on this place, we will not see this place. Fine. Uh, negotiation preventing was resumed now. Fine. Now only the past and resumed messages come, but the extension message is yet to come now. Fine. The past and resumed message are coming in the bell icon after some time now. Fine. So the extension also will now be getting communicated to you. Now. Fine. Click on dismiss. And dismiss. And then this is also what happens. We will not dismiss it. So we had to get a message that will not extend it. So it will not, it'll not take some time. Yeah, tell me. I think in, no, no, maybe email would have been sent. Yeah, yeah. Said. Mail would have gone. Fine. Mail would have gone. Okay. There are so many ways of doing it actually. My mail also gone. Oh. Now, what the negotiator is going to do? Fine, go there. Fine, we'll now go to the negative. Fine, go there. So go to the man, go to the manager. So we have now seen the extension. We have now seen the pass. We can even close it. We'll not do a close bit later. Fine, go there. <clears throat> and then we can even manage the collaboration team, add manage the scoring. Fine. So he himself can do the scoring also. So manage the requirements. There are so many small, small activities which you can do. They're all live access. For this. Now, what he's going to do? He will now go to make an amendment. He's going to make an amendment. So once when you create an amendment, whatever has been quoted, everything will now become invalid. If you go to the actions, 
and then go to the what is called you go to the done now man no once when you make an amendment whatever has been done everything will now become invalid so come on he says i don't want 10 i want 15 now so click on negotiation back on negotiation and then whatever has been done what happens everything will now become invalid <laughs> so go to this place now brother so go there i will now go to what actions and then go to what happens a monitor and then go to monitor negotiation so we have got three responses from three suppliers actually we got three responses from that it is what 73 to 132 132 134 so 132 132 134 so 132 132 134 so there are three responses so all the three will now become invalid once when you amend it we know go amend it so let us know amend it so in the meantime what am i going to go that call now see whether he has now got a message or not click on the one that he has to get the extension message is not coming at all ah oh, got is okay so go that we will now amend it from this place now. he is not going to amend it now. so for that you want it you will not go to the actions and then here i will not go to the manage and then i will not create an amendment so once when an amendment is made 132 133 144 134 everything will now become invalid now got 132 133 134 all the responses made with the supplier will now become invalid then click on the create amendment so he is now going to create an amendment <coughs> he is now going to create an amendment so click on it and everything is now coming from that so it is again a tree actually man you go to the overview and that so in the cover view overview also he is not making a change he may even change what happens your uh, what's called your payment terms fine the terms you can even make a change fine so in the plan terms you can even make a change now fine so in that so any of them you can make a change fine with the collaboration team you can make a change now fine so anything you can make a change now. i will not go to the requirements so here also okay, fine. amendment description fine amend amend it amend it to 15 quantity he is not writing what he is doing amend it to 15 quantity 10 quantity is now amended to 15 quantity so here also he is not changing anything he can change anywhere anything so go to the lines now so instead of 10 he is now making the quantity as 15 so he want 15 so every supplier has to give a fresh code for this so for the amendment amendment may be on the overview or requirements or anywhere it can be anywhere so once when you amend it whatever response given by the supplier they all will become invalid actually. they will all become invalid now he is asking for 15 but, no, no, coll collaboration is uh, i think internal to the buyer side so this is not a collaboration he is an amendment uh, so, no if the team is amended for example the team is changed so... team is changed means what it is amendment once when you create an amendment whatever changes you make on any of the things what happens they are all amended actually oh Maybe on the what happens on the collaboration team, we are making a change. Then also it is amended actually. <clears throat> okay. So I don't know how to do only that part. Now I am not very sure about it. I want to only change the collaboration team. In which case, what happens? You should not amend. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why I am thinking because. Yeah, yeah, you should not amend it. If there is a requirement, if the collaboration team is getting changed, you should not amend it. Actually. Team is something internal. Only yeah, just yeah. another guy is checking instead of some yeah. previous guy. I so, don't think so. I don't know how to do it now. Fine. You make yeah, an R and D. Fine. So okay, okay. Muhammad Abbas will now make an R and D and then tell us about how to make uh, what happens the changes only to the collaboration team and not anything else. Yeah, difficult. So even somebody was asking for the current price. Fine, it is available here now. Fine. So who I don't know who is asking it. Fine, this is the market price of it. From where only the savings is derived. Actually. So the quantity is not changed. Fine, go that one. I will not go to the contact time here. Also, I am not changing it. And I will not publish again. Fine, click on publish. Uh, Nana, can you just click on uh, the supply screen? Huh? I will just show. Uh, can you click on the supplies? Suppliers, no, fine. Suppliers. Yeah. Uh, can you highlight the first uh, supplier? Uh, go to the actions. Go to actions. Okay, okay. Because this is amendment, it is not coming. Uh, if you are creating a new one, you'll get an option here for uh, line control access. Line control, you'll be getting it, huh? Yes, yes. Because this is amendment, because already they participated, right? So we cannot touch. Uh, oh. What Avinash is saying is that if you are not, if you are before publishing it, you can even select and then do some actions on this. That's what he's saying. Now. In the action, what is available now? What will be the available one? What are you going to do on the actions now? If you are uh, not, you no, know, no, because this is amendment, right? We are creating. Uh, so the option is not. If it is not amendment, what will come in the action? No, no, it will be line access control. Oh, line access control will be coming for the supply. Oh God. Oh, Avinash is saying that. What happens? This supplier, okay, we will now make a check of it now. Avinash tomorrow will now make a check of it. I will now make one more neg and then do it now. Fine. Good, good, good. Avinash is saying how to, what happens, which supplier has to, what happens, do on which line actually. That is what he's saying. Fine. Good, good, good. We will not do that. Now. So tomorrow we will now make one more uh, RFQ and then see 
about how to control this now fine that is what he saying it's beautiful now. so go there click on publish now fine now now 31802 comma 1 is now an amendment 31802 is no more valid comma 1 is a valid fine click on publish so you click on publish it will again go to calvin drop off you like so go there click on continue so the one and that is not finished with the warning sign right now click on continue it is not done fine click on continue so 31802 is no more there it is now closed actually if you go there click on it if you give a search now fine click on search it will say 31802 is no more applicable at all thank you that it is active it is approved in progress fine after some time what happens it will not become inactive once it is approved then what happens it will not become inactive <clears throat> so click on search now it will not become get closed actually so you have to wait for approval so once when the approval is done what happens it will be getting closed actually <clears throat> got it now so you now go to the what happens first supplier and then let me log in as calvin drop now fine supplier one is there thank you for it i will not sign out of it and then let me log in log in as calvin drop so click on confirm <clears throat> so contact avinash for any problems on the on the sourcing area because he is already worked on it it's in fine so he is now giving beautiful he is now giving beautiful comments now fine calvin <clears throat> avinash try try to find out his name on the telegram and then click on it and then announce yourself as a friend now <laughs> calvin drop so let us now log in now fine so you will now get uh, the 802.1 will now come to him for approval actually so approvals are also always taking time actually Let's place my click on the bell icon. Got a point. Approve what happens? Okay, is now come now. Fine. Three one eight zero two point one is come. Fine. Comma one. It is not a point one. It is a comma one. Fine. Click on it. I will know what happens. I click on approve direct. Fine. Click on approve. So I am approving it from Calvin Rocks login. Now. It is not done. Now. It is not done. Okay. So I will now go back to what happens. The negotiators login now. Fine. Click on it. I will now click on search again. Click on search. Approval in progress will now become active, and then that will be closed. Again. Click on search. So till it is approved, that will still be active now. Fine. It is amended. It is not coming amended. That is gone now. That active is no more. So then the status has now become amended. Click on search now. That has to go away now. Click on search. Ah, oh, still active only. I don't know why it's still active. I thought that it will be going to what happens inactive or closed or something like that. Click on search now. It is still active only. Oh, now first line. No, no, no. Other way. It is the so, amended line. This is amended. Fine. Oh, 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 oh. That's correct. Okay, fine. So, a three one eight zero two is amended, and then it is no more valid. And then three one eight zero two one is active. Okay, fine. Very good. So, one is available in the top now. Amended is no more valid actually. It is no more valid. It is amended. So, it is no more valid. So, three one eight zero two point one is active actually. So, let us now go there, and then let us now log out of this now. Fine. Calvin drop, and then we'll now log in as a person. Okay. And sign out, and then sign in. Sign out. And then we are going to sign in. So we are going to sign out, and then sign in as what the sub supplement. <coughs> we are going to sign out, and then click on confirm now, and then we are signing as a first supplement. So A one dot N one. The password is same. Thank you. Sign in now. No sign. So before he creates a response, he has to first of all accept the acknowledgement. So he has to acknowledge the participation. Then only he can wait. And go to the supplement. And go to the supplement. And then go to the supplement. So seventy two, seventy three, seventy four. Everything would have gone now. Fine. Go to this place now. Fine. The board is a poster. Thank you. So in this one, active. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it now. Fine. And then we will now monitor the negotiation. There is no quote at all for three one eight zero two comma one. Now. Why is coming as a comma here, not a point? Now. Is there a possibility to change the control now? Fine. Monitor and then monitor, monitor negotiation. There is no quote at all for the amended one actually. Fine. No quote. No response at all from any other supplier. And then, when a supplier has to respond to an amendment, he has to first of all acknowledge the participation. Then only he can do it. Now, fine. Go to this place. Fine. Click on it. He will not go there. Click on it. He will not go to what supply portal. Fine. Go there. He will not go to the supply portal. He is now A on N one now. Fine. Go there. Come on. He will not go there. Click on the view negotiation. Now, fine. Click on it. He will not go to the view active negotiation. Where is it here? Uh, negotiation. View active negotiation. If you go on and see, so this comma one is active one. The other one is no more active. So go there, click on it. He is not going to create a response directly. It will not allow. First of all, he has to acknowledge the participant. If you try to create a response, it will not allow. If you click on create response, it will not say first. What I must say, copy from an existing response. I can do it now. Fine, click on it. I can copy and then go there. Existing response, response. This is the one he has submitted. Fine, click on create. You know, creating it. But what I must say, warning. You must acknowledge all amendments to negotiation before responding it. Do you want to continue? That is what I am saying. So if you are not acknowledging it. So somewhere it, I think it will not throw an error also. No, showing only a warning. If it is allowing, it's okay. We'll not see now. Fine. There is no warning. Fine. Go there. So it is. You are not acknowledge the participation amendment. Fine. Go there. Uh, now it is allowing. Do you want to continue? Fine. Click on this now. We'll not see whether it is allowing or not. I'm not. I'm not forgetting it. Actually, forgetting it actually. We'll not see whether it allows you to what happens. Participate on this now. It should allow. 
we'll see we can find it out so both active monitor now what happens it does not come to this page you know kind of that. so here he is now acknowledging it if you don't acknowledge then submit what happens this tick mark is a must actually he has not acknowledged if you click on submit now fine he is not it is not in edit mode at all remember it is not in edit mode at all fine. it is not in edit mode and then if you try to uh, submit it it will not accept at all fine. if you try, click on submit now fine it will not accept at all fine. warning fine with that zero of one amendments were acknowledged only zero is acknowledged fine. to create a response you must acknowledge all amendments do you want to continue flying click on yes now fine it comes back to the same screen now <laughs> it comes like the same thing so even though it give a warning in the previous screen what about you have to put a tick mark on the amendment so click on tick mark on that now when you submit it the response will be created if you click on it and then if you click on submit now fine now only the response will be created because here it is not a editable mode at all it is not an editable mode fine. so you click on it fine with that so click on submit now a new response will be created and click on submit so the amendment negotiation was acknowledged you can now create a response do you want to continue fine with that when i submit it it is now saying that you can now create a response so click on anyway any doubt has anybody has got any doubt this me so click on yes now please raise your doubt at the appropriate point otherwise whatever the point has crossed i cannot simulate the point at all and click on yes so sir acknowledgement is compulsory it means yeah, acknowledgement is compulsory on amendment on amendment acknowledgement is compulsory now it has come to the edit mode now he, he has already copied it and then everything is knowing now fine with that point i will not go to the next now fine click on next <laughs> requirements here here i am not going to apply the criteria the first supplier i am going to make this one so if it is one it gets automatically knocked off remember fine it is automatic knocking off so i am not giving a one now fine one and then here i am giving yes now fine i have not changed from five to one so this supplier will be auto knocked off the second one will be evaluated by the scoring team now the scoring team is going to evaluate the second one fine so first one is on financial viability i have not automatically knocked off in the technical i am not making any change at all the technical whatever i am not thinking it is yes and then everything is okay so this supplier upon the financial visibility will now get automatically knocked off got it now fine he will be automatically knocked off fine the scorer is going to only score on the second one is the manual one second one is the manual one there he is going to score first one is automatic so he gets knocked off you will not go to the lines now fine click on the lines <clears throat> you know go to the lines so click on the lines so here what happens you know given code of what let's say uh, 90 now 90 is a code fine select it and then Well, no, 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 sir. Here we have option to promise delivery date. Wait, do we have any option to mention the lead time? No, the, the no promise date. delivery date is here now. Fine, you can even change it now. Fine. No, no, no. What I'm saying, promise delivery date. I mean, you're mentioning 12 December. Yeah. If I give, give the PO to supplier on 12th, uh, I mean 25th of December, he will not be able to meet this date. No, is there a way that we can mention the lead? Not. What I'm saying. This is the date given by the supplier actually. Supplier is not going to modify if required. it was asked by the supplier or the negotiator but supplier can even modify it in the po also there is one requested or there are two dates are there date given by the requester and the date given by the supplier fine if the dates are you know, going back going beyond hey where fine there is no control at all in the po the dates we don't have any control at all here also on the dates we don't have any control he is now saying 12 29 22 but he is now supplying on 12 29 23 also he can accept it no problem yes no 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 what what i say is let's say he is saying 29 december yeah. will you able to deliver it yeah. but provided maybe that i am giving the po if i give the po to him only on 28 december for sure he cannot deliver it by yeah he will not deliver only on 10th of january you have to accept it and there is no system control at all on this no, they do not have any system control fine if you give a order only on 28th of december and then you ask on 29 He will not say, "Okay, sir, after ten days only, I will not deliver." Yeah, but yeah, but that is correct. But uh, but the, this is this day will act as a supplier. Will be considered for the supplier performance. No all. way. The supplier performance and other things are different one. Right? Suppliers' performance, if you want to evaluate, there is a different one. But I think there should be a question. There should be additional question to the supplier that uh, can you supply the. Uh, yeah, in the requirements, you have to put a question, and then the requirement you can put a yeah, question. You can only put a question extra. No? Is, within the promise date, is it supplied uh, or not? Uh, yes or no? Yeah, when can you deliver by promise date or not? Fine, you say yes or no. Accordingly, we can even knock him off. So yes. That. But no. this date do not have any control at all. Functional control is not there on the promise date as well as the requested date. Even on the PO also, we don't have any functional control. Yeah, what I have a specific question is: uh, see, when the promise date, how do we evaluate the supplier? Whether the supplier is Delivering on the promise delivery date or not? There is no the evaluation date. explicitly now. Fine. You only have to write a requirement, and then uh, what I must do the evaluation actually. Ah, sir, is it possible to amend the uh, target? Uh, the 
Yeah, in amendment, anything you can do now. Right? Not only on the quantity. Yeah. So can, many things you can amend now. Any court for the lower quantity. Not for anything. This. Whatever you change is an amendment. Once when you amend it, whatever courts have been given, everything has now become invalid. So fresh supplier has to give a fresh court. No, I... My question is, Nasa, then can the supplier quote for lower quantity? Is oh, is you ask for it. Now, fine. We'll now see on the second supplier. Fine. We'll now see whether he can quote for the lower quantity or not. We'll now see. Target quantity is 15. We are now past this gate. Now, fine. We are now past this gate. So, not a bad. So, people on it. We'll now give on this. Now, fine. So, here it is 90. Now, fine. Line price is 90. Here also 20. Fine. Over there. So, the, we'll now do that on the next one. Now, next supplier will not do it. So, click on it. We'll now go there. So, you will now give something, something. Fine. Over there. It's not done. So you are now given 90 plus 920, 930. You know, so click on seven close. And remember, this supply is going to be auto knocked off. Right? Click on seven close. This supply is going to be auto knocked off. I will not give what the original price we are not keeping it up. The only change. And no change actually. 91 is given off. So click on submit. A new response has been submitted by him. See here, the quantity field is grayed out. You see? The quantity field is grayed out. So he is unable to quote on a different quantity. I don't know. Hey, Avinash. Is it possible for the supplier to quote for a lesser quantity or a more quantity? Fine. Is it possible to edit? edit him? I don't know. Fine. It's not allowing at all. 15 is a count. No. We, have, we should be able to, right? Because there, are, there might be a scenario of MOQ and all, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, no. I don't know how to do it now. Fine. How to edit the response quantity? I don't know. Fine. If anybody knows it, please educate all of us. Now. If you click on that uh, description, uh, description when if you click on the description it will now open up when there's only edit mode now when you're editing it what is create alternate yeah yeah alternate is a different one now fine so alternate will not be considered at all fine if you say uh i am now a dealer fine instead of uh, what happens uh, some other uh, maruti car i'm now giving a honda car fine if you say that what happens alternate will not be considered for this account. Mm -hmm. alternate will not be considered you can even say that you have alternate but alternate is only for information purposes Alternate is only for information. No, no, sir. Can we try to uh, can you try to click this uh, pencil pencil icon? Pencil like just to see. Pencil icon. Go there. Fine. Everything is now grayed out. Fine. Oh, okay. It's not a line. Okay. Target quantity and then response quantity are all grayed out. Fine. Just make a check. If you know but how to do it, fine. Please educate all of us. Go there. He's now going to submit his response. Fine. And remember, this supply is going to be auto knocked off. Fine. Click on submit. <clears throat> And then for the second supplier, I'm going to manually knock him out. So click on submit. So 137, 132, 134, 133, 134 was the first response. No, this response has been received. So I'll now go to this placement corner. I'll now go to that corner. I will now go to what actions and then go to what happens. Monitor now. I will now give a done and then come back to come back, come back on level. I will now go to the actions and then go to monitor and then monitor negotiation. <clears throat> so we are monitoring it. So you are now seeing it. So the first response has come out. 7317. So this is the price now. So let us now go on that, do the second supplier's response. So let me go to the Opera now. Fine. Opera. <clears throat> second supplier was there where? I don't know. Ah, I have not kept it here. Now. I have not kept it on this place. This is the second supplier. I will now click on the home icon and now see whether he is the second supplier. So it is the second supplier. Okay. So supplier, you will now go to the what happens, the supplier portal and go that on it. You will now go on and view the active responses and view active negotiations. Fine. Click on the view active negotiation. You know, going to it. Fine. So this is the one now. Fine. So the first activity is to acknowledge participant, then only I do it now. So click on the acknowledge participant, then only it will now allow you to create a response. You we'll know, say uh, okay, okay. So that will be coming on the suppliers area. Fine. Whatever he has acknowledged, that will be reflected on this place now. So he has acknowledged. If you go to the what you go to the negotiators area, fine. So if you click on the what I was give a cancel now, fine. Give a cancel. Done. And then come out of it. So in this place, you can now see this now. In this place, fine. go to the supply to if you click on the hyperlink of it, what happens? You can now see the response number has come over. You know, so you know given okay, okay. In this place, his response is now saying. So whatever he is now writing as a mail or uh, through a bell icon or acknowledgement are all coming on this area now. The three areas, what happens, you know, so click on now. Let us now go there. And then we will now go to this place. So you know, going to, he has not followed it. We will not get a response. Now. We will get a response. So we are creating it. We will now copy the response from the previous one. Fine. So go there. Click on, click on create. You know, creating it. You must acknowledge. Fine. You already acknowledged. Now, fine. Click on S. I don't know why. So, so click on S. So if you submit it, it has to go into edit mode. Provided you put a tick mark here. If you don't put a tick mark, it will never go into edit mode at all. It will not create a response at all. Fine. The quantity is 15 for that. So here, anybody edit it from that. So I will not put a tick mark and then submit. Now. 
he will not put a tick mark on this and then he will not submit fine once when he submit it what happens it goes to the next stage fine the amendment of the negotiation was acknowledged and was acknowledged and now it will not go to the response creation form now. so click on next now fine click on next on the requirements what happens here i am not going to manually knock him out is the requirement for that so five is automatically passing on the second one i will not manually knock him off second one the scorer is going to knock him off manually the first supplier is not knocked off automatically on the first one and then the second supplier will be manually knocked off by what happens the uh, casey brown fine casey brown is going to manually knock him and the tech one what happens i am not going to mention tech one so tech one let us now keep it as a summary so only on the financial viability the what happens the casey brown is going to knock him off manually you know? second supplier will be knocked off manually so go that one you know that fine click on submit fine what lines area we go there and come on the lines area the requirement is not given fine go to the lines now and come on the lines and then you know going to go there you will not give price of ad now <laughs> select it and then click on edit now fine now he is now giving a price now so ad is now given from that so he is again 20 and 1 now 20 and then 1 and then he is now cheaper now fine so click on save and close that submit it so the second supplier has no submit you must enter a response value for the required at the oh god see this is a is a mandatory one but if you give a kachagadan jingu then fine it is not accepting it fine that is what is but uh, this has to be manually decided by the whatever the negotiator actually fine. the attributes item attributes do not contribute to a knock off fine knock off of manual and auto is not there only the requirements can be automatically or manually knocked off click on save and close go that point no no fine no, no, no. so click on it and then i will not submit the second supplier is not submitting it fine click on submit So go that point. Now we will now create a third supplier's response as a surrogate response. Now, fine, click on it. So go that point. I will now go that click on that. Now, fine. I am now going to make a surrogate response from this. Point. So for a surrogate response, also what you have to do is we have to first of all acknowledge it and do it. Now, fine, click on it. So click on it. Go that place. Now the third supplier we are now making a surrogate response of this. Point. Fine, click on it. So click on it. Open. So go to this place. Fine. Go to the actions and then here what happens? I will now go to the manage and then I will now create an amendment. Now. Third supplier. So go that point. I will not say the third supplier is not responding. So go there. Fine. Click on the what happens? The third supplier. Fine. Go that. So click on it. Uh, Anna sir, you clicked on amendment, Anna sir. Not. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay. I don't. Fine. Click on that. Fine. I don't think that. There is another thing. Wondering about what is coming there now. <laughs> so click on it. I will now open up this now. Fine. Click on it. Ah, it is not. It is not draft. Now. It is not discard that. I don't know how to discard it now. <laughs> it is not gone to the the draft mode now. So one, I'm not clicking on. It. So click on it. I'm not going there. So here I'm not going to do that. What happens? Amendment now. So go to the actions and then go to what happens? Manage and then create surrogate response. So create the surrogate response. I will now say supplier three is now giving it. Supplier three. I mean the supplier contact. I'm not putting it. This is the contact. I'm clicking on create. We can even register. Revise or copy an existing response. That's what I'm going to revise. And then the response number. Nana sir. Nana sir. Yeah. Are you doing uh, surrogate response from uh, from negotiate. one of the suppliers? Yeah, yeah, no, no. How come a supplier can give a surrogate response? Only the negotiator oh. can. Oh, okay, okay. We are now log. We are now. This is the negotiator's login, and then from that, the negotiator is now creating a, a surrogate. On behalf response. of. Okay. So click on my click on create revise fine that or create a copy now. I'm going to revise it. So click on create. So I'm going to revise. Click on. And then again, you have to respond. Fine. You must acknowledge it. No saying. No fine. So click on this now, fine. And then you have to put a tick mark. Then only what happens? It will not go to the next step. Now. Go there. So here I have not put a tick mark, and then submit. Then automatically what happens? Go there. So method of acknowledgement also you have to say. So it is by email, and then the date of acknowledgement also you have to say. So here on which date he has acknowledged. So he has now given a message to us. This is now fine. So once when he submit it, it will now create a response for us. So go there. Click on it. You know, then click on submit. It will not create a response. Now. Fine, click on submit. Upon submitting it, what happens? The system will not create a response. Now, fine. It's okay. Fine. Do you want to continue? Fine. Click on this. Now, fine. It will not create a response. Then I'm going to get this. So, so go there. Now you can very well code for this. Now, fine. So go to the requirement. Now, fine. Click on the one. So go there. So the response received on is submitted. Fine. When it has been received, fine. Click on it. Now say ten. And then in the method of response is what email. <laughs> so then only you can go to the next line. Fine. The overview itself. If you don't give the date of receipt, you're not accepting it. Fine. So go to the requirements. Now here, I'm not going to pass anything. Let the supplier pass. No, fine. So five is okay. Yes, is okay. And then in the technical also, technical we are not touching anything. Fine. Go there. So technical we are not touching anything. Fine. Only the financial viability we are going to. Take. So go there. So the third supplier is now passed. Fine. Third supplier, I'm going to pass it. So on the technical viability, I'm not doing anything. This is okay. This is okay. Go there. So go to the lines. No, fine. Click on the lines, and now I'm going to give a price. <clears throat> Go there. So I will not give a price of what let us say seventy dollars. 
So select it and then click on edit now. So we are giving edit. Go the page now. So I will now give some value again and click on it. I will now say 20 and 10. So he is the cheapest supplier. And then I am not going to, what happens, uh, knock off. I am not going to knock off. So click on save and close by which, what happens, uh, it is now completed. And then we will now submit it. The third supplier is not, surrogate response is now submitted. Thank you. Now, having received all the things, we are now going to close the negotiation. I can even pre-close the negotiation at any point of time. The response is the negotiation was submitted. No, no. So go there. So it's not a, if you go there and see, no, thanks for them. Uh, what is this? Uh, acknowledge amendments. Uh, uh, what is this? Why oh, oh, is, is a draft? It has come. Thank you for cancel. It has now created an amendment. I shall give a cancel. <clears throat> so click on done and then come out of here. So go there. So I will not give you a snap. So now what happens? Uh, uh, this is the one okay? that is the draft. Okay, so. so if you click on this, okay, click on search again, and okay, search again, and then click on the hyperlink on the comma one. Okay, click on it. Now go there. So now the negotiator is now seeing everything. Okay? So you know what is he going to see? You know, having a value, and all the three suppliers are gone. Now, what he is going to do? He is now going to close the negotiation. So go there. So I will now go to actions. And then here, what happens? Analyze is coming. So once when everything is completed, the analyze will now become award now. The analyze will now become an award. So go there. So click on it. I will now go to the monitor and then I will now go to the monitor negotiation. The analyze will now become an award. So I'm now going to monitor it now. We are now monitoring it. So all the three suppliers are always coming from that monitor. It is not showing all the reports. So now everybody has submitted the response. One of them will be a surrogate now. You can even see uh, something will be coming as a surrogate. I don't know why it's not coming. It will also show that somewhere that it is surrogate actually. I don't know why it's not showing. So you can even compare also. Showing the last activity number, sir. Huh? It's showing in the last activity column. Surrogate response. Uh -huh. Last activity. Uh, uh, okay, okay, fine. This is not showing as well. So the surrogate response is not shown over no, no. Now, he is not going to pre-close now, fine. He is not going to pre-close. So go there. He will not pre-close it. So go to actions. And then here, go to manage. And then I will know what happens. So close this now, fine. It is not coming. I had to go back one level. So I had to go back one level and then I had to close it. So click on done now. I'll now go back one level. So in the main level, when I go to actions and then go to manage and then I go to close. So this is the one. So once when you close it, what happens is nobody else can code it. You're not going to close it. And remember, upon closing, the analyze will now become award now. The analyze will now become award. I'm not going to close it. So it's closed. Pause and close. Uh, Past is hold actually. Okay. Close means what? It is one once for all closed actually. So okay. we are not saying close immediately, even though we have nine days time, whatever they are not closed. So all the invited suppliers will be communicated by email actually. So, so Nana sir, once the negotiation is closed, are we going to award uh, to one? Yeah, of yeah, the... yeah. This is awarding okay. no? now. Everything oh. is so the negotiation was updated and all we needed participants are I mean, notified by email. Now we are going to see the scoring. Now we are going to do the scoring of the so we'll now do the scoring of it. So let us now do the scoring. We'll now perform the scoring. So what he will do is he will now open the scoring first of all. He will now open the scoring. <laughs> so go there. So click on it. So it is now closed actually. And the status is closed. So he will now open the scoring now. Go to actions and then go to manage. And then he will now open the scoring. And next activity is what? Open the scoring. So you will now open the scoring and then he will now ask the scorers to score it now. Fine, click on open scoring. Open. If you open the scoring, you won't be able to change the scoring team at all. The screen team cannot be changed. If you open the scoring, you won't be able to add new internal requirements. Fine. This is all the same. It's okay. And then click on this. Fine. These are all the warning messages now coming. Fine. So click on accept this. Now. Any doubts? Okay. No doubts. Fine. Click on yes. Now. So if you click on open scoring, then it will go to collaborators for scoring. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will now, uh, now automatically go to the collaborators. For okay. Okay. All the collaborators will be informed and then they will be doing it. So he has opened the scoring and then he will now send a message also to the scorers. Now. Go to the actions and then go to the message. Now. He will now say what happens. He will now, he will now send a message also. Where is it? It is not coming. Fine. Click on done and then come to the main page. Now. Fine. Click on done. And then come to the main area. So I will now again click on it. So we can even uh, send a message to the scoring team actually. So open it up. <clears throat> then go to actions and then go to manage. Now. Fine. So manage upset, manage products. Fine. How to send a message now? You can even what happens, uh, do the messages actually and actions. In the monitor, we'll not see monitor negotiation there. And now it has become an award. Analyze has now become an award now. Fine, click on the award. So there is a different thing. Fine, go there. 
so he has came send a message now kind of i don't know what to do it good actions and then go to manage now thank you manage you can even send a message to all the scorers actually close scoring manage abstract fine manage product task manage supplier response to create a new round kind get surrogate response acknowledge amendment and apply internal cost structure we are all been coming when you log into that user notification may uh, he's a, what about the negotiators log in now from here he is not going to send a message now and i don't know how to do it now fine fine it's possible i don't know i know that it is possible but here it is not coming click on it uh, click on search and try again one second i will now go there i will now go to the monitor negotiation fine go to the actions and then go to the monitor negotiation in this place i will not try to send a message now in the monitor negotiation screen i will not go to actions managing in the monitor negotiation i will not go to the actions manager now what happens oh there also is not coming i use there i do duplicate in there and duplicate negotiation copy and all that so in this place it is not there if you click on the message it is only a generic message now i click on message you know click on the messages you know see oh god it is all messages incoming messages now all the incoming messages not showing come on enough are there yengi or is i don't know where exactly it is we can very well what happens is send a message to the what happens the collaborators actually ah monitor supplier activities you can even monitor the supplier activities what are the activities we are doing that can be done fine go to the map the manage only it will be there it is not coming in the main manage then what happens you have to go to the in this place now so then the man via manage only you will not do all the actions actually in the actions what happens you go to the manage now. so go to the view view also it is not there now ah manage only that's close scoring is only coming manage abstract is a different one okay okay so you can even send a message to the supplier when the collaborators missing now let us now go there and log in as the first of so you know go to this place let us now log in as calvin top thank you so here you will now have a message that it is now closed so negotiation preventive maintenance was closed so a message has come upon closure all the suppliers will be informed now let us go there i will now log out and then what happens is log in as a supplier or as a collaborator actually so let me log on as a calvin top and calvin roth i am going to pass everything the technical specifications i am going to pass now fine so calvin if i go to roth i am not slightly rushing it up because i have to complete it i want to complete it now <laughs> i don't want to drag it to the tomorrow now fine calvin roth fine i am now rushing through fine if you have any doubt please ask me calvin roth is now going to pass it <clears throat> so click on it you know going to pass it whereas only casey brown is going to knock off now fine so go that you want you will now go to what you uh, will now go to the procurement and then you will now go to what uh, negotiation you will now go to the negotiation so go that you want you will now go to the manager negotiation thank you for it you will now go to the manager negotiation calvin drop is now going to go to manager negotiation so you will now have what happens you can now see the active negotiation over here so owner is not calvin drop fine owner is what uh, emp2 now fine emp2 comma uh, it's what uh, t0112 so he the owner so we will now see the negotiation of this owner actually you will now have a look at negotiation calvin drop is not doing fine this is the one fine the one thank you for now he is now going to do the scoring now actually he has already opened the scoring actually he has already opened the scoring only thing is he has never sent the message fine so go to actions and then here what happens you know go to the analyze and go to score response and the message is there automatically so if you see that message one yeah, is the message is coming but he can even explicitly send a message now this is a message upon open scoring by the system actually this is not there. negotiations open for scoring yeah this is a message but you can even what happens explicitly send a message also i have seen it but maybe in this version they might have changed it actually so it is only only automatic message so no manual message from the negotiation maybe in this version fine to do today they might have modified they modify each and everything lot of things now fine so negotiations open for scoring is not come fine so uh, okay fine this message is come it is not coming as a red also fine. the red also so click on the now so you are able to see the message fine now what about you go there he is now going to take an action now fine go to analyze and then he is now going to score responses fine so two suppliers and then only one response is manual fine one is automatic fine go to score responses so go that you want it <clears throat> so he knows uh, what about what is the uh, knock off score fine that so nothing is done now fine so the first supplier will now go there fine so he now go to the score now fine nothing has been scored actually you click on the score now fine you want so he has got only one thing to score now fine only one is score to score now fine you want will now go that you want He is not seeing. So the first one is automatic. So you don't have anything at all in this place. Here, what happens? You will not give a five. Let us now pass everything. So if you are giving less than two or three, it will not get knocked off. I am not exactly worried two or three. He is not giving. So if you give value, what 
5 means what 10 will be coming if i give a value of 4 what happens it will not give a value of 8 now it will not give a value of 8 so it is a, it was a 4 by 5 into 10 will be the total score so the weighted score out of 100 it will not show you totally 28 now what enough eh? so weighted score fine if you give 4 4 of 5 of, of 10 is what 8 so the total 100 marks how much of score he has got that the negotiator will not see and then decide whether to give any orders or not so it's not okay. four is not a knockout criteria only three and uh, below is knockout criteria so he is not passing on now thank you monet so click on submit which whatever the you know score now thank you monet on the support to whatever the you know score so go there one is completed two is not completed so you know click on the second one now thank you so let the technical guy is not passing on everything so go there so i'll also give four <laughs> your tab so click on submit now. so he is also passing now there's no pass he is not passing everything so the only one is meant to find right you know there's no passing everything. And so I will not give what the four is coming. How come it's coming now? <laughs> This is already done. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> which one is not done? How to see that now? And click on cancel now. It's already done actually. No, no, the first one is not done. Oh, oh, oh. the first yes, one. First one. one. First one is not done. So go there. I will not click on the score now. Fine. Go to the first one, and then I am going to give a score. Now. So go there. So I will not again give a score. Now. So technical guy is now passing on everything. Thank you. There is no no power now. Now, Casey Brown is going to knock out. But one of the court should be automatically knocked out, right? Even yeah, that yeah. Game here. Sub player one is automatically knocked out. Sub player one is automatically knocked out because he has given a response of one now. So fine. that is not here. Uh, that is not here in the technical score. This is the technical score. Fine. Okay. He was okay. knocked on the financial score actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So even if it is knocked out in financial score, it would come in the technical score. No, no, it will not come in. It, it, it didn't come at all here, right? His financial viability will never come at all. Only okay. support one, support two on the technical only is coming up. Okay. Uh, what I was asking is, even if it's automatically knocked out in the financial, then uh, also it, it will come in the technical uh, score. Okay. Yeah. Because it is it is not yet accepted by the negotiator. Actually. Negotiator has to accept it. Then okay. we'll, the criteria will be considered now. If negotiator is not accepted in thing, what happens? Nothing will be done. It has been proposed by the scorers to what happens? Knock it out, either manually or automatically. Now yeah. the negotiator has to take a decision. Well, okay. Now yeah. the Kelvin Roth is now submitting his responses actually, and everything is not done. Thank you, consultant. He is not submitting all the responses. But Nana sir, is this for all the suppliers or only one all supplier which was? All the three suppliers. Yes, huh? all the three has responded. No, he has responded okay. all. Previously, it was red. All they were red now. Right now, all they are red. Uh, what happens is drawn. Any Nana, doubts? Nana, Nana, sir, this will be help us to uh, find out the ranking of the suppliers. Not ranking. Whether to knock him off or not, it decide. No, no just ranking is not here. There is no ranking at all. Ranking no. will be based upon multiple factors. Fine. Based upon the item item attributes. Based upon the requirements. Based upon the cost factors. Based upon the price. Based upon actually, we will now rank it. Ranking is different from knocking off. So, Nana sir, what is the meaning of the one which was automatically knocked off? We will come to the Nama. I'll come to that. Okay. So this is now submitted. Let us now go to Casse Brown, and then we will not do it. Nama, it is not done. Nothing. So submitted. So click on done. We will now log in as Casse Brown. So click on it. We will now log in as Casse Brown. So Casse Brown is now or the financials. So technically, it is true. He has not thrown. He has got only one requirement to do it. Nama, he has done it. So I now say Casse Brown. <coughs> Can say dot y r o w f brown. Can say brown. He is now logging in. So she is now going to knock off the second supplier. Remember, first supplier is now automatically knocked off. So this girl is now going to knock off the second supplier. So click on it. We now go to what procurement? And then you go to the negotiation of it. Click on it. Now go to the negotiation. Click on negotiation. And then she will now query the negotiation. So click on the manage negotiation. <coughs> So go to the manage negotiation, and then she is now going to manually knock it up. So go there. Uh, I will now say it's EMP two comma T zero one two. Let me go there. So this employee was created. Thank you, consultant. You know, because there are so many things will be coming to the scorers, so they have to see who is the owner and then query it. Otherwise, some other factors also. You know, the negotiation number also can very well. Be. So go there. So you know, querying it. <clears throat> so query. You will now click on the hyperlink, and then you know going to score. Now I am going to ask a question. You have to answer now. So click on it, and then we will now respond it now. So go to actions, and then go to analyze, and then score responses. Right. 
she is now scoring the response of the human. So sub one, which is a sub one here, uh, not showing me anything at all. <laughs> it's a supplier voice. Oh God, how to see this? Which is a sub one? Based on the response number you have to see, Nana sir. One three seven is for first one. Yeah. Be a supplier one now. Thank you. I will not click on the response and then see. Okay. I will not see the supplier one's response or not. That is the one that name that that be not coming. So click on it. Not see sub one. Okay. Sub one. It's not coming as sub one. So sub one. <clears throat> Now my question is what? Third one is one point. Click on score now. <clears throat> so now what he is going to do? Agree to terms. Fine, fine. If he is giving a value of four, will he be knocked out or not? That is my question. Will he be knocked out or not? Tell me. With the first hmm? one, it's automatically knocked out. No, it will not, sir. It will knock off. It, it will, will knock out with the first criteria. Also the first criteria. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the first criteria it will get automatically knocked off. Second criteria is knocking, not knocking off, but for the first criteria is knocking off. You got it now, fine. So even though he is passing on the second, he has passed on the first. He has failed on the first. Okay. Should not yeah, be yeah. should not yeah. be in the list if it is knocked out. I don't know why it's coming. So one, he has no answered only one because of which whatever he gets auto knocked off. So second he is not manually he is not knocked off, but first one is not knocked off. Fine, click on sorry. So you are not on it. So first one is already knocked off. So go there. Second one. So third is the one is knocked off. You know what the third name of it. Now he is going to manually knock him off. No go there. You know what is placement. So go to what actions and then go to view responses to whatever it is. How come it has come here? Why oh, no? Clicked on that response. Go there. So third is the one, third name. I go there. Click on the score. Now. Click on score. <coughs> what is place? And then here, what happens? I am now going to manually knock him off. I will not put one here now. Fine. One will not manually knock him off. So the second supplier is not manually knocked off. First is automatic is not knocked off. Second, he is not manually knocking off. So no that. So click on submit. Third he is passing it. So click on submit. And then go there. So third he is passing it. So 41, you know, go there. Click on it. You know, passing it. Go there. So you know, give five. So based upon the entire weighing when technical plus commercial, everything will be shown over there for the negotiator actually. Thank you, Consul. Now the negotiator is now going to take an action. Thank you, Consul. He's not submitting it. Fine. All the scoring activities is now completed. So what the negotiator will do is now what happens? You know, close the scoring action. So everybody has submitted the negotiation by click on the offline. It's all done. You will now go to the negotiator, you will go to the negotiator's login. Thank you. So click on done offline. I will now come back again now. Click on done. I will now requery and then do it. Negotiator is not researching. Fine, search for it. Not coming over there. So I'll not click on the hyperlink of it. Not coming over hyperlink. No go there. It's closed actually. Fine, it's not closed. No coming is closed. So is the one thing. So he'll not go there. Click on it. He is not going to take an action. Fine, go to the actions and go to manage. We'll not close the scoring actually. No close. The so he's not going to close the scoring. So click on the close scoring. So the scoring is not going. To, so if you close the scoring, scoring team members won't be able to enter any scores at all in future. So some of them might not have scored also. Fine, doesn't matter. If they are not scored also, what happens? It cannot enter at all. Fine, on fine. Now he is now going to go to the award. So go that one. You will now go there. So you will now done. Fine, so click on done. Fine. He has now closed the scoring action. The negotiator has closed it. Fine, fine. So click on search now. Fine, click on search. And then I will now click on the hyperlink of it. Fine, click on the hyperlink. You now go inside now. Fine, fine. No, have it. <clears throat> So if you go to actions and then what happens, award, the analyze has now become an award. If you go to the monitor, then go to the monitor negotiation and now see what exactly you can do. So it's not showing you all the savings percentage, different thing is not showing you. Thank you all. It's not showing you all this thing. <clears throat> so go that you want. So it's all there. Thank you. Done now. So go to actions and then go to manage now. You now see the manage. Then what happens, apply internal person, create a new account. Click on them. <clears throat> So click on done. So go there. So in the main area, what happens? You don't go to the actions and then go to the award and click on the award. So you can now see the view automatic award recommendation with the system actually. So you don't go there. You go to the view automatic uh, recommendation. Thank you. What the system is recommending. You don't see what is the thing. So it is now saying we can very well uh, place an order on one and three. Fine. Two is somewhat expensive. That is what it is saying. So two is a more expensive. You know that. So the score is less. Maybe something, some criteria based upon a lot of things. The system may recommend that whatever you cannot place on supplier one and supplier two. So he will now see what are the knockoff criteria. 
So even though all the supplies are there, till now the knockout is not applied actually. The knockout is not applied. So go that one. I will not go there. So click on done now. <clears throat> you can even accept the recommendation and go for this one. You can even accept the recommendation and go for a placement of order also. Go to the action now. Then go to the manager. Go to whatever award now. Fine. We will now see what happens the view. Fine. We will now see view apply knockout criteria. You will not click on the apply knockout criteria. And click on it. So go there. Click on it. So one and two will be knocked off if you apply. It says supplier one and two. Fine. Go there. What is if you give okay one and two will be knocked off because of what one is an automatic knock off and then two is a manual knock off. So this is what is fine. So go there. And then this is the apply to shortlist is the only one. And the remove from shortlist is now coming as a remove from shortlist. So if the responder feels that what happens, uh, this uh, knocking off is okay by the automatic and manual. So you can even do okay. Now. It will be removed from the shortlist. Now. So click on okay. So by which what happens, it will be removed. Now. So it is not done now. Now what happens, you go there. Click on it. He has not done it. So in the manage, what happens, it goes there. Uh, okay. It's all done. Okay. So you now go to the award now. Thank you. Now we're done now. And then come back. Come back one level now. Come back one level. Oh God! You know, come totally out. So he has now applied the knockout criteria. Now he want to make a change. Actually, he want to make a change. So what he will do is he will now go to the action and then go to the award and then I will now go to the award negotiation. Apply knockout criteria is already done. Now so he will now go to award negotiation. Then reverse the knockout. He will now go to the award negotiation and then he is going to reverse the knockout. The negotiator can design on anything. On the scorer's response, what happens? You can override the scorer's response. So click on it. What happens? You can now see what happens. Now coming. So go there. So here, what happens? Supplier one and two are knocked off. Only three is on. So click on apply knockout criteria. You will now click on the apply knockout criteria and click on it. You now go there. Click on it. So here, what happens? You now going to change now. Right? <clears throat> so go there. So what you will do is you will now go there. So remove from shortlist there. You know that. How to bring in now back? God, apply knockout criteria. It is not showing only apply knockout criteria. But uh, what happens? I will now go to supplier one. I click on the supplier one, change the shortlists. Supplier one, I will now change the shortlists. So if you apply it, it is already applied now. Right? So supplier one is now knocked off. You will now click on the supplier one and then change the shortlist status. <coughs> you will now do it. Fine with that. It will now be becoming yes. So he is not agreeing with the what happens? Uh, the scorers or uh, automatic and manual knockout. You will not keep your customer on the second also. Man. Second also, I will not change the shortest response. It will also be allowed. So the negotiator can override the responders, fine? the collaborators' recommendation actually. Got it? Anybody has got it out? Hello? Are you all there? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it but will he be answerable to someone? Uh, yeah, yeah. He is yeah. answerable to the management actually. Fine. Whether he has not overridden the what happens? Uh, uh, the collaborators' responses, but he is the ultimate authority. Yeah, he, he can call to the supplier and he can negotiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he can do a lot of things on this. The negotiator is the ultimate authority. And everybody provides a guidance to the negotiator about uh, to on whom we have to place the order. Actually. So, Nana sir, he can do the biased right uh, uh, responses. The response. So, okay, fine. You he can be biased to the to the suppliers, right? Yeah, of course. This <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how under the table money comes. Doing this. Yeah, it, it, it's it's Adani and Ammani eh, here. <laughs> <laughs> there are so much of a goal mall practices will be happening now. Fine, that is <laughs> negotiator is the ultimate authority. Yeah. Very rich actually. <laughs> You will know first of all communicate to the supplier that you are not knocked off because of so and so reason. Fine. No, you have to instead of uh, five lakhs, you have to pay seven lakhs to me. Fine. Likewise, you will not negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Now we are going to award. Now, fine. All the three are there. Fine. So click on. You know, going to award. So once when you want to award, he can either award on supplier one or supplier two or supplier three. Fine. Click on award. He can now. He can only is coming as a radio button. Fine. Click on award. So it will not show you as a radio button. Now go there. Click on it. The bottom, what I was only supply two is coming. Why not? Okay, I have not do select an award. Thank you, Pansom. So I have to select all the suppliers and then go to the award. So I will not. So you selected only two, sir. Supply all the suppliers and selecting it, and then I go to the award. So when I go to the award, I can only place an order on one of the suppliers. So go that one. You will not see so either a radio button will be coming. One of the radio buttons you have to choose. So he will not see all other parameters. Every parameter you will not see, and then finally the total score also will not see out of hundred. This guy has got 60, 74, 98, and everything is not coming. So, 
So this is basically what award by supplier. But line wise also we can award. I give a cancel. We are going to award by line actually. Give a cancel. So go there. So what I will do is I will not award by line actually. <clears throat> Where is it? Oh, you have to go to the lines now, right? So go to the lines. Supplier and go to the lines. Right, click on the lines. <clears throat> go to the place. And go there. There are two lines of them. Fine, select it and then click on award now. Fine, click on award. I'm not going to award it now. <clears throat> So once you click on award, so now I can even distribute the award to whatever supplier. Now 15 quantities there, right? Supplier three, supplier one, supplier three, I will not give it is a five quantities. And then here, whatever I want say seven quantities. And then here I will not give three quantities. So I can even distribute the award actually. So five, seven, three, I can very well distribute it. <clears throat> I'm not distributing it. It's okay. One. And then the second line is a service item, we cannot split it off. Service line, we can only give it to only one supplier. <clears throat> Supply fine. service line, what happens? We cannot split the award. So, whereas this one changes the same, thank you. So, go on. So, I will not go to the service line. Thank you. So, I will not give a damn of the second line. I will not go to space. So, I will not again go to the actions and then go to award and then award negotiation. I will not go to the lines region and then so on. Service line means other than quantity. Other than quantity, actually. Why is not coming in order? Ah. Award based spreadsheet, everything is coming. Actions put uh, so click on done now. Click on done. And then the service line. So we'll now click on done and then come back now. Thank you. Come back. Oh, this is the one now. Thank you. We'll now go to the award now. Thank you. Award. So click on it. And then you're not going to award. So go to the actions. And then here, whatever. Click on award. Go to the award negotiation. Either one or I have to go to the lines region. But why is not going to the lines region at all? Ah, no, we no, already no. Had did the did the award, right? Only for the one line of uh, go to the line here. Go to the line. Yeah. In the line, what happens? I will not choose the second line. First line is awarded. Second line is not at award. And then click on award. Whereas this is the service item, and so what happens? We cannot split it. So we cannot say that what happens is the radio button. Right? In the first off, Jalalida will dance, and then the second second off, what happens? The ninth hour will dance like that. You cannot say. So we have to give only to one of the suppliers. Actually. I will not give a supplier only. Thank you. Supplier only. I'm not giving it. So services can be awarded to only one supplier and not multiple suppliers. So keep on saying. So we are not in the award. Yeah, tell me. Both cannot be done together. Right? Both cannot be done. What do you mean? It is only a radio button. Okay? This place is. Yeah, radio. yeah. So only one can provide the service. This only one, one can provide the service. That is why I told you. Only Jayalalitha can dance or Nainthara can dance. Right? Nobody. You cannot say, oh, first off, she will dance, and then second off, uh, she will dance. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so, go there. so, both are awarded now. So, now we are going to... Nana, sir. Nana, sir. If, if, we, if we have a quantity that we have to buy and first supplier cannot provide the enough material, can we go and uh, uh, offer that, I mean, award that uh, well, for the second out supplier of, also? Out of what happens in this uh, process, basically. Okay. okay. Doesn't support okay. The supplies. First supplier is not supplying. Okay. Uh -huh. All out of uh, what happens? The negotiation per view. Understood. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to submit the award for approval now. So we'll now submit for approval. So once we submit for approval, it will now go to Calvin Roth or uh, uh, Cassie Brown. Anybody? Cassie Brown. Cassie Brown. Because you know award uh, award approval is Cassie Brown. So once when the award is approved, fine. Now we can now create a purchase order. The award has now gone for it. So we already logged in as a Cassie Brown. It's a Cassie Brown. So click on the home icon. You now see it's a Cassie Brown. It's a Cassie Brown. Yeah. So she will now get a what he is not she is he actually. <laughs> Online messaging for now is now coming 24 minutes before. But so you'll now get a message. Okay. Dismissed three hours before the dismissal. So once when the approval is now made on the award, then we can now release the PV. We can very well release the PV. So go there. No, 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 no. It was one week ago. Click on it. Upload. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Somebody said. Just to ask on the question which uh, the unit has question. Ah? There are there will be, there will be a case by the time you uh, might be placed the PO, the supplier come back, you say that no, I cannot supply this quantity at this price. Yeah, so yeah. in this case, we may have to award to the another supplier. So we can we go ahead and award to another supplier? I'm not sure about all this, uh, what happens there? Uh, <laughs> ultra ultra activities now, fine. That only you only have to see in the system now. Fine. This is a process, a simple process I have explained now, fine. If a supplier is saying that I cannot supply and then you want to change the award, 
you make a chin of and you make a check i'm not i'm not very sure about it and those things are not done and other question i have is here is surrogate response right is there a way now what is working when you send the rfq supplier supplier is receiving a notification is there a way that maybe the supplier may not have given access to the portal is there a way we can send it uh, trigger an email in rfq the email? supplier with the username is all automatically given an access you may not have passed the username and password that is a different thing no yeah we may not have passed because maybe the company restriction something the supplier may not have access or some supplier like the oems and all the big supplier yeah. they don't want to come to our portal and this so can we send the rfq like automated like po we have we can send automated po copy right like something like that we can send a mail via mail rfq so it's now all the deviations you only have to sit and then work on the you know fine i have no explained a simple straight forward process now fine so that only you have to see fine i don't know whether uh, how to do all those things or not fine if he is not having a whatever his email id is not passed fine so those things i don't know So we wait for him now. Fine. Once when he get an approve, fine. Okay. Approve award. Fine. Is not coming. Fine. Approve award is coming. Fine. Click on approve. So once when the award is approved, fine. He is now approving it. Fine. So once when the approved award, then it is now going to go for what release of the purchase order. Release of the purchase order. Fine. Is not done. So we'll now go to the negotiators login. Fine. So click on done. Approve. Award is approved. Award award approval is in progress. Is not saying now. Fine. Okay. So this one. Award approval is in progress. Now once when the award is approved, fine. Click on it. So once the award is approved, then we can now create a P vote. Another five minutes now, fine. We'll now complete it. This is the last activity of the negotiation. So I rushed through, and then what happens? I want to complete everything in one go now. <laughs> so three one eight zero two to appoint on one. It may be. This so purchase order specific P vote will be created automatically, or we have to go and create manually now, yes, sir. We only have to do it. Now. Okay. So award is approved now. So once when the award is approved, what he will do is he will now go to the place, and then he will now go to the award, and then he will now what happens? Complete the award. So once the award is complete, then you will not complete the award. By completing it is what creating a purchase order. Then click on the complete award. You will not go to the actions award and then complete award. So create purchase document now. We are saying notify the suppliers about the award documentation. This is also done. So by this what happens? It will now be creating a purchase order. And then we can initiate the approval also automatically. So it is not done. Then click on okay. So create a purchase order document now. Later also always now itself will do it. So award is approved and then award is now getting completed now. Then click on okay. Now we are completing the award. Now. you are not completing the award so by which what happens the award is getting completed so what then it will not go to the next screen where we can initiate the approval and then submit it now so it will not go and then create the what happens over so it's not done fine the award for negotiation is now complete now fine go that one i will now initiate an approval i will now initiate an approval thank you for initiate approval now we are now set up to automatic actually so since we are set up to automatic now what happens the purchase orders will be created automatically for this And supplier one has got two lines now. Supplier one has got two lines, and then for the other ones, it's not done. So initiate approval. Last one, what is initiate approval now? It is uh, submitted for approval. You are now submitting it for approval. So you will now create a PO on an incomplete status, and then it will now initiate approval also. Oh, okay. It will now initiate approval. And click on submit. By which what happens? The total activity on the negotiation is now completed. Any doubts on anybody? Upon submitting it, we have to go to the main system and then see the purchase orders only. Okay, fine. Your activity on negotiation on the single stage RFQ is now complete. Any doubts? So, no, no. The the activity started from the right from the negotiation to purchase order, or it is linked with the. No, tomorrow I have to order. see from RFQ from PR to uh, PO via negotiation tomorrow. Okay, okay. okay. PR to PO via negotiation. I will not show you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, correct. Sir. PR to PO, I will not show you tomorrow. Yes, sir. If we want to, what about? No, no. What about the related part number? Let's say I, I ask for part number A, and yeah. there might be part number B, might be a related part number. The coating for the supplier. The that you have to define as a substitute in the main system. Okay? On the transactional system, you have to define that as a substitute, and then supplier can even supply the alternate number also. Now, sir, if we want to hold the PO for some supplier in from among these, how can we do? <laughs> I don't know. Fine. If you don't initiate the supplier approval, then what happens? It will not be approved at all. It will be going as an incomplete PO only. You can do like that. So try to see the controls and then see about how to match your requirements. So where we will find the PO numbers, Nana sir? Will be I will be showing you. Right? Okay. Initiate the approval. Fine. So in this screen, anybody has got any doubt? I will not go to submit now. I will now again not come to the come to the screen at all. <laughs> award is completed, and then I am going to submit it now. So award is approved, and then award I am now completing it. Fine. Click on submit now. I am submitted it. Now we will now go and see the purchase orders. Now. It will now create the PO as well as it will be submitted for approval also. 
the PO is created and then it will be submitted for approval also. So tomorrow um, PR and then single stage RFQ court and then PO. Fine, that way we have. Subject on something now. No running, running, running. Oh God, I no oh, shoot it by ten minutes actually <laughs> because I want to complete everything in one go. So let me go there and then I will now log in as PRC then now. Thank you. Now log in as PRC then. So there you can see the POs numbers coming. Thank you. Now go there. So click on confirm now. Let me log in as PRC then. There's a PRC 10 dot student. Go there. So click on sign in. They are signing in. It's a very big process. Right? We have seen so much of activity on this now. We are expecting three POs with different quantities to yeah, different yeah, yeah. suppliers and one for. Oh, oh, first supplier will be having. Right? Go to the purchase orders. Go to the purchase orders. But then... Namaskar, this is highly manual. Its maintenance is required too much. <laughs> you see, what to do? Fine, because we are now working on a huge contract of what? The 5 million or 6 million. The volume, the amount will be very huge. That is why we are having this much of a complexity, basically. It's all highly manual. What to do? We cannot order it. Yeah, I agree. Do you know, we were doing it when there were no computers. When I was doing this in Steel Authority of India Limited in 1983, and then there were no computers. We just see how difficult it will be. Mm -hmm. It's all very difficult. And then we have done it everything manually. We have done a two stage RFQ, remember? We have done a two stage RFQ also. So go there. So not something is a mandatory. What do we Supplier. I will not put the supplier. So I will not say what happens. There. T Zero one underscore sub underscore one. I'm not the supplier. So on the supplier, if you go on and query, you will now find one order here now. Click on it. Now find one order here now. You'll now find one order that means spending approval. So it is now submitted for approval actually. So if you click on the uh, attachment, fine, click on the attachment. So you can now see the attachment go on. Attachment you can see. So from supplier, fine. These notes is supplier. Fine. If you click on it, what happens? You can now see all the uh, notes he has given. So click on it. Okay. And now click on this one. Okay. Click on the note supplier. Open it up. Word up. Okay. So a uh, note from supplier, so and so my note, supplier note. All the notes is now coming over here as attachment. And then another is what PR attachment, right? One attachment. He has now given attachment here. So that attachment is also. So that's also <coughs> see. <coughs> so he has given a PR attachment. Fine. So okay. fine. So all the attachments you can now see now. Fine. So go there, click on it. I will now go on and make a search now. Fine. It will not show both the lines actually. <laughs> it will be opening now. <laughs> it will open. You click on the hyperlink. You can now see both the lines coming up. Over. <clears throat> this completes uh, what happens. Uh, how to create a what is called a template for the single stage or of two, and then how to create a negotiation by the negotiator. Send it to the various suppliers. Get a response, and then uh, score them, and then finally award, and then complete the award. Actually, so after the approval, after the approval, after the approval, PO will go to a supplier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a normal process. No? Once it is approved, then it is a normal process. So, then from just... negotiation, we can see this detail, right? The purchase order. Yeah, yeah. Everything you can see. And the negotiation also, the purchase order number also will be visible. Actually. If you go to this place, so it's not done. Okay? Number of documents will be affected. On the we can even see the, what about the purchase order number also on the negotiation. On that. So, click on that. You can even, I, I don't know where exactly. You have to go on and do it. Okay? Dig, 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 and then see where exactly you can see. So, go to this place. And you can even you will see the purchase order number also on the board. Ah, good actions and then go to monitor, ne monitor negotiation. In the monitor negotiation, it may show the order number also. It's not showing only this thing now. So response, response type, response amount, transformed amount, and everything is not shown. But this is not the screen. Actions, analyze, analyze negotiation, automatic award. Okay. View okay. Automatic. This one will you automatic record award recommendation. This one, what happens? It shows you this recommendation of another. Uh, it doesn't show the PO number at all. <clears throat> the PO number is not shown here. It will be them somewhere. Right? Make an R and D somewhere here and there. Yeah. So, or you can say the purchase document created. Huh? The yeah, status. There is no saying. Status says completed. Yeah, purchase document created. Yeah, the status is not. But the purchase order also has to be coming now. It should be there. Yeah, you have to just look at it. Somewhere. That's all about the single stage RFQ. Tomorrow we are going to begin with the two stage RFQ. Right? Tomorrow we are now going to begin with the PR, then a single stage RFQ, quote, and then afterwards analyze it and then finally create a PO. Right? That is what PR to PO via negotiation.
somewhere you go on and see it will all be there. so no uh, sir is there any information on the po that it is created from the negotiation i don't think so it will not show it will not it may even make a reference of the negotiation number i'm not sure about it so go on then make a dig dip dip into the what am i dig deep into the po number so it may even get some reference so it is a very big long process if you have understood this can you put a green tick now you know see how many of you understood it sir this is awesome man <laughs> thank you <laughs> great yeah, it was it was great uh, yeah it Okay, thank you. Many of you understood it. Thank is really great. So yeah, what? I'm... Great one, great. If more than green ticks would have, I I have to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have added two. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like okay. Awesome, Nana. So very very good. So good then fine. Bye. We will not meet at five p.m. Five p.m. and then we will not see a P.R. to P.O. via negotiation and then afterwards we will not begin the two stage hour of Q. Bye for now. Hopefully this will be last class, no, no, right? This is last class means what? Last class, last session tomorrow. Tomorrow Or... uh, we will be continuing on this, and then on the there will be a gap filler. No fine. If uh, if you are in, if you still have time on the tomorrow, then I will now do the PO import as well as the rapid implementation. Fine. The two topics on the PO is no mentioning. Fine. So okay, okay. if uh, tomorrow I have a time, then I will not continue. Otherwise, whatever whatever is possible, I'll do it. I will not push this gap fillers to next next week. Okay. Okay. So next week we will be beginning what your uh, supplier qualification as well as procurement contracts. Okay. 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 okay, Nana. Yeah. Bye for now. And then we'll meet tomorrow at 5 p.m. Okay. Bye, Nana. Thank you. Thank you, Nana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye all.